Hi, my name is Chris Woodward and I'm the Developer Relations Engineer at OranguDB. Thanks for joining me for this OranguDB lunch session. On the menu today is Orango Search, the natively integrated full text search engine that supports all OranguDB data models. Orango Search is more than just a full text index. It is a powerful search and similarity ranking engine. Some of the features included with Orango Search are multilingual search with support for 30 languages, fuzzy search capabilities, query types such as phrase, wildcard, proximity, range, and more. Your queries can also span multiple collections, thanks to the Orango Search views. As we'll see today, Orango Search can also take advantage of multiple data models, including graphs. The examples that we'll review today come from our Orango Search notebook, available in the OrangoDB Interactive Tutorials repository. You can run this notebook along with many others in the browser for free without needing to sign up or install anything. Before we dive into the examples, I want to quickly mention views. Orango Search indexes data from your collections by linking to views. Views contain information such as which analyzers to use for the fields that are relevant to your search queries, or which stop words to exclude when linking your collections. There are many different options available when configuring your views, and the big takeaway should be that views are what allow Orango Search to perform fast and federated searches over multiple collections. For our example, I've already loaded the IMDB dataset that we're going to use. Once the view is created, you can also actually view and update some of its properties right in the web UI. Here's the view we'll be using for this example. Uh, we want all of the fields to be searchable, so I've included all fields. Doing this uses the identity analyzer, which makes each field available for our queries but doesn't perform any text transformations. I've explicitly indexed the description field with the English text analyzer. The text analyzer is capable of breaking up strings into individual words while also optionally filtering out stop words, extracting word stems, applying case conversion, and accent removal. It is the general multi-purpose tool of Orango Search. There are more specialized analyzers that may better serve your use case, but to keep things easy, I usually use this text analyzer. The most typical use case for analyzers is with views and Orango search functions. However, you can use analyzers with some string functions that are independent of Orango search. The tokens function is an example of this. Here, we tokenize the phrase, I like OrangoDB because it rocks, which of course it does. And we are able to do this because the English text analyzer is able to parse the sentence. Note that it also has applied stimming to the words and converted everything to lowercase. This is the default behavior of the English text analyzer, and you can change this by configuring your own analyzer and fine tuning the properties to suit your needs. Let's go ahead and have a look at the first query. You perform Orango search AQL queries by using the view name in place of where you might normally reference a collection name. This query is looking for the phrase Star Wars in the description field. And notice all the uh, search keyword here. The search keyword can only be used against views and is required before using Orango search functions. Let's go ahead and run this query. And as we can see, we get a couple movies with Star Wars in the description. Uh, the first one here, fanboys, the first two words, of course, being Star Wars. And notice that even though they are in quotes, it still is able to pick them up just fine. Uh, and then the remainders, uh, Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars, of course, is a natural one to show up. And since we're searching for the description, uh, it just depends on what is actually showing up there. So as we see, we see Star Wars and Wars uh, showing up throughout the descriptions of the different movies. Uh, your searches don't always have to be right next to each other. Sometimes you can uh, just have results that are similar to the phrase supplied, such as looking for a movie description that mentions being in the galaxy. So for our next one, we'll take a look at proximity search. 
Um, this will show us uh, finding a phrase that at least contains the words and you can uh, specify the distance between them, the, the proximity of the words. So for this one we're saying they need to be within one word of each other. And for our first one, continue live for Grimm and planet in the galaxy. So that matches our criteria. We're saying it needs to have the word in, at least one word, and then galaxy. And for our next one here, there we go. And then also in the galaxy. So we saw that we had galaxy showing up multiple times there as well, but specifically we have the phrase there. And then our other one just starts out the phrase here. Okay. Um, and outside of the proximity searching, you can perform a ranked keyword search by using the analyzer function and then sorting based on the ranking score. Rongo Search supports both the BM25 and TFIDF ranking algorithms. You can return the score value and use it in your queries to take even more control over the results that you want to display. Uh, here we'll take a look at an example of a ranking search. Uh, this one we have a bunch of keywords that we want to use, amazing action world, alien, sci-fi, science, documental galaxy, and once we get those, we are going to sort the most relevant ones using the BM25. We'll limit that to the 10 results that match our criteria and then return them. And if we take a look here, we can find a couple of the keywords, intergalactic, uh, planet, I think, was, no, world, that's where we... Planet, a welcome guest, sci fi. And, oh, yeah, Alien was one I think as well. Yeah, Alien, so that's going to be probably why that showed up. It had quite a few of our words. Uh, I've got Galactic and Alien as well, sci fi. All right, well, you get the idea. You can check out those results yourself as well. Um, but so it finds those keywords in the description and then ranks them based on basically their context uh, of, the, of the description. And now, and uh, past that is where we were kind of leading to initially, which is uh, one of the coolest features of ArangoDB is being a multi-model database. Um, and this is where we can combine different data model and query capabilities. So, as promised, we're, we are going to take a look at combining a Rongo search with a graph traversal. Uh, in this example, we'll take our sci-fi keyword search again and give the results containing the galaxy keyword a boost. This is another function of a Rongo search, the ability to boost individual keywords to improve the ranking if they show up in the description. Uh, then we'll do a graph traversal to evaluate the incoming edges that have the label directed. And so for our graph, this indicates that the edge connects to a node for a person, that person being the director of the movie. Uh, the, we can then return these people along with the title of the movie that they directed. Let's have a look. So here, first one that shows up for me is the Garth Jennings, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, followed by Robert C. Cooper. And if we actually want to take one like further step as, as far as what we're looking at with this graph. Um, so this gives us the combination of finding a movie and then being able to traverse out from there for the graph. And here is what that graph looks like. Um, if we, yeah, there we go. So now we can see, this is just an example, it's going to pick a random one. Um, and this is going to be a person. And, and this is saying they directed, or sorry, this is the reverse. The, so this is the person and they directed this film. This person acted in this film and so on. So this is the, the general structure of the movie or of the uh, graph uh, that we have for the movie database. And you can see it even has connecting genres. Cool. 
All right. And uh, so that's that's really the main thing I wanted to cover with this one. But um, all, all of these really amount to just a, an appetizer when learning about the everything that you can do with a Rongo search. Um, for example, how do you handle search terms with typos or offer autocomplete for your applications? Orango Search offers fuzzy search functions to help solve these sorts of problems. Um, this fuzzy search topic deserves and will have a lunch session of its own, but I did want to just show you a quick sneak peek at an example of fuzzy search in action with a query with multiple typos. Um, and this example that we're looking at is a user who rather carelessly attempted to search for the movie where Frodo and Sam go to Mordor. Um, fortunately, with Ingram Match, uh, we're able to find the movies this user was looking for with ease. Um, it will, uh, this is uh, using a Ingram analyzer, and the Ingram Match functionality is a new function of Arango Search that can make use of that to provide us this sort of fuzzy search functionality. Um, and as you see with our results, we're getting exactly what we expected there. Uh, and like I said, there will be a, a further topic on that. And this is just the, the very tip of the iceberg uh, in regards to Arango search. So if you are interested and you would like to learn more, definitely be sure to visit our learn portal, portal of arangodb.com for tutorials and guides on getting started and, and everything you'll need to, to get going on Arango search. Um, additionally, if you sign up for the two-week free trial of Oasis, we also have a special Arango search guide there as well. And uh, finally, if you'd like to contribute to a JavaScript project being developed with the community, uh, and also to get a sneak peek of the upcoming uh, GeoJSON features coming to Arango search, visit the Arango BNB repository linked in the description. Uh, and that is it for today. Thank you for joining me for this lunch session, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.